strong. Once again, I'm here to discuss the new lesson. And uh, our lesson is for English 4, Quarter 3, Week 5, Most Essential Learning Competencies Using Graphic Organizers to Show Understanding of Text. And before that, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates of videos. Thank you! So in this lesson, you are expected to tell what happens at the beginning, middle, and at the end of the story using Story Sequence Organizer. Graphic organizers are visual charts and tools used to represent and organize a student's knowledge or ideas. They're often used as part of the writing process to help students map out ideas, plots, character, de character details, and setting before beginning to write. As part of reading process, graphic organizers require students to stop and think about what is important while they are reading. They are great to use as a tangible way for students to record their thinking before, during, or after reading. Sequencing is a reading comprehension strategy that helps students identify the components in a story, including the beginning, the middle, and the end. The signal words like first, next, then, and finally are used to show the order of events. It is also involves the ability to summarize and retell the events in a story or text in the order in which they happen. Let us read the paragraph, then answer the questions below. I'm going to read it first, and after me, of course, you will be the one, okay? At 5 o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. Friendly ladybug in from the left. I saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It just saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Okay, let us read once again. This time is your part. At first o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew, flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them from for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Okay. These are the questions that we're going to ask. Let's have the first one. Okay. The first one is, when did this story happen? <clears throat> Read apart. Again, when did the story happen? When? It's asking about when. At, at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, it was the story happened. So, according to the first one is you're going to read the part. So, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. Okay. Next is... Next is, 
Where did this story happen? Where did this story happen? So it's it's asking about where. Start with let us read this one. A ladybug flew in from the left. So from the left from the left and also the grouchy ladybug from the right. Right? Okay. Next. What do you call this part of the story? What do you call this part of the story? It's asking about when and where it happened. Okay? It is in the beginning part of the story, of course. Okay, the next question is, do all stories need setting? Why? What do you think is the answer? Of course, the story, all the story needs setting so that we will know when and where the story happened, right? Okay, the, the fifth question. Who are the characters of the story? Okay, the, there are two character, characters in the story like the friendly ladybug and the grouchy ladybug, right? Okay, good. So, let's go on. For the sixth question, how did the character solve the problem? And how did the story end? So what do you think? How? How did this so the character solve the problem? And how did this story end? So their problem is their their what? Their problem is their food for their breakfast. Right? And how did they solve the how did they solve the problem since they saw the outfits on a leaf so the problem are solved at the end of the story how did the story end so they both saw their breakfast and uh, that's the end of the shirt selection okay next now look at the illustration presented below Notice that the events from the story are written inside the boxes. We call these boxes a graphic organizer. So again, these are these are boxes, and we call these boxes as a graphic organizers. Now, graphic organizers can be used to show sequences sequences of events in the story. Meaning to say, sequence, pagkakasunod-sunod, like the word first, next, then, finally. So, let's start with the first one. First, at 5 o'clock in the morning, a friendly ladybug flew, flew in from the left. Next, the ladybug saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Then, suddenly, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. Finally, the grouchy ladybug saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast too. Okay, it's time for you to read. Are you ready? Okay, let's start now. First, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the friendly ladybug flew in from the left. Next, the ladybug saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Then, suddenly, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. Finally, the grouchy ladybug saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast too. Okay, very good children. You read it right. So, let's find out the next one. Ready? Okay. 
Okay, let's have this first exercises. Read the, the selection, retell the event, the events using the graphic organizer. Use the signal words first, on next, then, and finally do this in your notebook. Okay, let's start this one. Since I discussed you discussed already the the these are the clue words for for graphic organizers. Okay, let's read buddy and cat. Little buddy cockroach is a house bug. Mother bug always tells him to stay in dark places and hide. He listens to her with a half an ear not really believing in what she says how could they not like me i have beautiful shiny wings a long antenna surely they would love me he thought then buddy saw a black cat and said i will show mother cockroach that she is wrong but when the cat saw him, it immediately jumped and started running after him with its sharp claws. Buddy ran as fast as he could to the dark place under the cabinet and never ever came out. Okay, this time it's your turn. Okay, ready, start. Buddy and the cat. Little buddy cockroach is a house bug. Mother bug always tells him to stay in dark places and hide. He listens to her with a with half an ear, not really believing in what she says. How could they not like me? I have beautiful shiny wings, a long antenna. Surely they would love me, he thought. Then buddy saw a black cat and said, I will show Mother Cockroach that she is wrong. But when the cat saw him, it immediately jumped and started running after him with its sharp claws. But he ran as fast as he could to the dark place under the cabinet and never ever came out. So good, very good. So let's have, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's analyze the given selection, okay? So the setting here is is in the house. So little buddy because of little buddy cockroach is in the house. And uh, little buddy cockroach is a house bug, right? So the setting there is in the house. Then the main uh, character is little buddy Cockroach. Why he is the main character is the one who is ambitious and doesn't listen to his mother. And the second character is mother, mother cockroach. Mother cockroach or mother, mother bug rather. Mother bug is the next uh, character. Why? He, uh, mother, the little uh, buddy's mother who warns little buddy for all the dangers in the house then the third character is the cat what's the third character the third character is the cat the one who proves little buddy wrong on his assumptions okay now what are the events there of course, the first one is, let's have the, let's have the graphics, okay? The first, mother, little buddy, cockroach is a house bug, right? Next, and uh, mother, what? Mother bug warns little buddy. The next one is, a little buddy doesn't listen, right? And then, what happened? The cat 
So, little buddy. Then, finally, uh, little buddy hides and listens to mother bug. You got it? So, you can answer this correctly because of that. Okay? Good. So, next one is, let us read the, the selection. Take note of the events by filling in the graphic organizer below. Write a sentence and draw a, pub, a picture to show the correct order of the events from the story. The selection is uh, the entitled or the title of the selection is the dog and his image. Let us read all together, okay? Once there live a proud huge dog under a bridge near the brook. He once stole a piece of meat and ran away. Down the road, he went and crossed the brook through a plank. Midway, across it, he stopped and looked into the water. He thought he saw another dog with a piece of meat in his mouth. This meat looked larger for him than his own. I'll have it, growled, and uh, he sprang into the water. But... He lost first the piece of meat and did not get the one. For what he saw was his own reflection. Okay, and the questions. And the questions. Okay, and the graphic. Um, according to direction, to the direction, you have to take note of the events by filling in the graphic organizer below. First, so, what is the first one, the first event? Then you have to draw it here. And the next event, draw another. Then, then the next event, you have to, uh, to write the sentence here and a picture that shows the correct uh, order. Then finally, what happened? So you're going, to, again, you're going to write the sentence here. In the first one, then you have to draw it, okay? Then the next one, the next um, event, you have to draw it also. You have to write the sentence here and you draw it. Then, likewise for then and finally, okay? You got it? Okay, good. So here... Uh, the next one, you have to arrange the events to form a story. Again, arrange the events to form a story. Write its events in the appropriate box. Be guided by the signal words. These are the signal words, right? First, next, then, then finally. So, the num number one, let us read first. Okay? But we have to arrange this. Arrange this properly. The first, uh, number one, he went straight to the bathroom, then he dressed up. Then number two, Alex woke up early in the morning. Number three, he packed his things and went to school. And number four, he had his breakfast and brushed his teeth. So let us analyze these events. So what will be the first one? What will be the first one? If your answer here is Alex woke up early in the morning, of course, you're right. Okay? And the next one is, what will be the next one? What do you think is the next one? Okay. He had his breakfast and brushed his teeth. Good. Then... What will be the next one? He went straight to the bathroom, then he dressed up. And finally, he packed his things and went to school. Good job, kids. Good job. If your answer is right, of course. Well done, kids. Very good. 
Good. Another one. So let's read events, then arrange the events logically using the graphic organizer below. How a news item reaches the newspaper. Go. The reporter sent the story to the editor through email who double checks it for accuracy, grammar, and spelling. Then finally, the story is featured on the newspaper. Then an eyewitness called the newspaper publisher. Then next, the reporter heads to an accident scene. Okay, let's read once again. It's your time to read. How a news item reaches the newspaper. The reporter sent the story to the editor through email who double checks it for accuracy, grammar, and spelling. Finally, the story is featured on the newspaper. An eyewitness calls the newspaper publisher. You, next, the reporter heads to an accident scene. So the title here is, How a News Item Reaches the Newspaper. What will be the first event? Okay, so let us start answering, okay? Kids, what is the first event? What will be the correct answer here? Okay, good. If your answer here is an eyewitness calls the newspaper publisher, this is the first, okay? First, an eyewitness calls the newspaper publisher. Okay? Next, the reporter heads to an accident scene. This will be the next uh, box. Okay? Okay, what will be the next one? The third one. The reporter sent the story to the editor through email who double checks it for accuracy, grammar, and spelling. Then the last one is, finally, the story is featured on the newspaper. You got it? Good. Good job. Okay. This time, it's your turn, children, to, to analyze this one. You have to, um, to read this one first. Movies or stories as well. Think of your favorite movie and use graphic organizer in identifying important events. Okay, you have to choose your favorite movie. Then, of course, you have to... To answer this from the first one, the graphic use the graphic organizer to identify an important events of the of the movie of your favorite movie. Okay, first, next, then finally, um, you have to think and uh, you have to organize the events, sequencing the events to identify the important events at first, then. Next, then, then finally, like that. Okay, good. Then, letter B, you choose your favorite story. Okay, so letter A, move favorite movie. And the next one is your favorite story using graphic organizer. And identifying the important events, use the signal words first, next, then, and finally. Got it? Okay, so here's another one. So direction, you have to fill in the graphic organizer below with the appropriate orders of events. Use the signal words first, next, then finally to complete, this, to complete the sentence. Do this on your notebook. So these are the graphic organizer and you have also to, uh, to add the signal words okay let us read this all together number one the egg becomes a caterpillar when the caterpillar hatches out of the egg it immediately begins to eat the leaf it is on then number two a pretty butterfly came out then um, the caterpillar built a home around itself 
it forms itself into a chrysalis, okay? Then fourth, there was a tiny egg. The eggs are laid by the mother on the very specific leaf. Okay, let's analyze what will be the first uh, sequence. So I think this is the life cycle of the butterfly, right? Okay, what will be the first sequence? First, okay, let us, uh, let us read once again. The egg becomes a caterpillar. When the caterpillar hatches out of the egg, it immediately begins to eat the leaf. It is on. It is on. Then a pretty butterfly came out. The caterpillar built a home around itself. It forms itself into a chrysalis. Then uh, there was a tiny egg. The eggs are laid by the mother on this very specific leaf. Now I know you can make it. Okay? So first... There was a tiny egg. The eggs are laid by the mother on the very specific leaf. Okay? Then, the egg becomes next. What will be the next? The egg becomes a caterpillar. When the caterpillar hatches out all the egg, it immediately begins to eat the leaf. It is on. What will be the next one? Then, then, the caterpillar built a home around itself. It forms itself into a chrysalis. Then the last, lastly, lastly, or finally, a pretty butterfly came out. Okay, good kids. You understand well. The next one, for letter B, Let's take, let's, um, this are the graphic organizer. Let's sequence this. From first, next, then, and finally, or lastly. Okay? So, let us read all together. Lola Peacher planted a seed. It had more leaves and branches that were bigger. A tiny leaf appeared. It had fruits. Fruits are good to eat when it's ripe. So, what will be the first sequence? First, <clears throat> Lola Peacher planted a seed. This is the first one. Next, a tiny leaf appeared, right? Okay. Then, it had more leaves and branches that were bigger. Finally, it had fruits. Fruits are good to eat when it's ripe. When it is ripe. You got it, kids? Very good. Okay. So, congratulations, kids. You did it well, very good, and I would like to thank you for answering all the tasks correctly. And if you find it hard to answer some, um, some exercises, you can watch again this video for more understanding. Once again, thank you, and goodbye. See you again next video. Bye, kids. Have fun.